Hello everybody, James here from Steam Loco Collection. The purpose of today's video uh, is to explain how the brakes and regulator are set up on the Southern Railway Schools class add-on and how to make the best use of them. Now it's worth saying at the beginning of this tutorial that uh, what I'm going to discuss only applies to the advanced model of the schools class. It does not apply to the simple. Uh, if you're unsure which uh, driving mode you're using, if you go to your settings in TS2014 and under gameplay, your driving mode, your driving model, uh, should be expert and the automatic fireman should be off. So uh, with that done, we'll load up a quick drive. Um, now, it doesn't matter which engine, advanced engine you choose, you can choose any of the ones. Um, I'm going to choose the Repton Present model with my Mark 1s on the uh, PDL, the Portsmouth Direct line. Okay, so our quick drive has now loaded up, we're in the cab. And the first thing we're going to discuss is the uh, brakes set up for the schools class. Now, the schools class is fitted with a dreadnought brake ejector. The small ejector is operated using the J to open and the shift and J keys to close, or you can just use the mouse. If I load up the F5 uh, view, you can see at the moment that with the brake in its top position and with the small injector close, closed, the brake is at 15% apply. Now what that means, uh, obviously, is that the brake is applying. The brake pressure is currently at zero, so we, we can't release the brakes. The way to release them is to open the small ejector, and as you see, the brakes the brake position starts to increase so we've gone from 15% apply as I open it 12, 11, 10 and then when we get to 9% the brakes then go into running and the brakes now start to release to release the brakes um, now that's good if you're at a station and you want to gradually release the brakes ready for a start um, if you want to release the brakes quickly the way to do that is to open the small ejector fully and um, 5% running is the maximum you can release the brakes without adjusting the position of the brake handle itself. To open the large ejector and then thus release the brakes quicker, hold down the semicolon key. You'll hear the large ejector start and the brake pressure will rise. I'm just going to put the brakes back into apply so that they will start to come up. Actually, I'll just apply them. There we go. Generally, if I'm at a station, if I'm at stop on roughly level ground, I'll keep the brakes around 15% apply. Um, so that's how the brakes work. Next, we're going to discuss how the regulator works. So if I just put the regulator into forward gear, and we'll just give a quick whistle, release the brakes. Um, one thing I should mention before we start the locomotive is if you're trying to drive the, the uh, engine using the F4 HUD, the regulator will not work. If I try moving the regulator, you can see nothing happens. It, it, it's fighting. The reason for that um, is because I've separated the keyboard and the, the control you can see in the cab from the Railworks regulator. So whatever you see in the F5 HUD, uh, in the F5 view as the regulator value or in the F4 is just what the Railworks regulator is not what the actual control uh, in the cab is so we've released the brakes now so we'll open the regulator and just to open them actually I'll just open the cinder cocks open the regulator until you can see steam coming from the cinder cocks which should be about now there we go you'll see the regulator value starts to increase it's now decreasing so I'll just open the regulator up a bit there you go now if I just let the throttle increase shut that um, when you're starting an engine essentially it's juggling the regulator so open it a little bit wait for the pressure to increase 
Then once it gets loud enough, closes the regulator a little bit, allow it to decrease, and and just basically juggle um, with the regulator until you're up to the speed. Um, obviously, as any good driver will do, as your speed increases, wind the reverser in so you're making better use of the steam. I'm going to try and get up to around 45 miles an hour without slipping. Whether or not we can do that is another matter. Up the regulator a bit. There we go. As you can see, our speed is currently is rising. We're up to about 16 miles an hour, and our steam shift pressure is dropping quite suddenly as the regulator is now closing with the increase in speed. On the reverse rent to Close the small ejector to maintain steam. Now, as your speed increases, you will get less and less in control of how much the regulator is open. Um, once you get above about 30 miles an hour, if you want to open the regulator fully, wind the reverser into about 30% on the F5 HUD or 22% uh, on the F4 HUD. I'm not going to be able to open the regulator fully just yet, so I'll just keep the regulator under steady control. There we go. Now I'm going to try opening the regulator fully to see if she slips. Yep, she does. Now, when the regulator, when the engine gets into a slip, it, the regulator will automatically increase to 100%. The only way to then solve uh, the slip is to shut the regulator fully. But as you can see, we've got out of a slip because the engine is now settled in. So now, it doesn't matter where you have the regulator, um, the regulator will invariably, once you get the speed of above 33 miles an hour, will automatically, uh, it'll be essentially zero or 100. You do have a little bit of control. So for example, if I just, there I can just about juggle it, but it's very, it, it's quite difficult to control, because invariably, you want to speed up uh, at this kind of speed. You don't necessarily want to be able to have precisely 25% regulator. Um, that was the idea behind the script anyway. So there we go. As we can see, our speed has uh, increased very quickly, went out to 52.5 miles an hour, and increasing. So that's essentially how you get the, the engine underway without much slip. I said I was going to try and get it away without a slip. I didn't do that. Um, so I hope all of you that have purchased the add-on have fun with it. I um, hope this answers some questions. If you have any more queries, don't hesitate to email me at uh, steamlococollection at gmail.com. And I will see you all guys very soon.